what's going on there YouTube welcome back to Charles's toy room it has been a while since I made a video so I'm finally able to sit down and make one and the perfect time I just got back from Planet Comic Con this weekend in Kansas City um, was there yesterday um, and then um, did a few other things in Kansas City and then came back today it was a blast met some cool people got a lot of got some um, cool merch Mainly graphic novels I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, first and foremost, I met Stan Lee. It's a, I know, it's, it's a cool thing. Um, it was very um, brief meeting. My um, friend that I went with, he had a VIP pass, and so he I got to be in his photo. Um, it's come in, take a picture, leave. Like, didn't even, he didn't want to shake anybody's hand. Um... But just to stand next to the man is, is pretty cool. I didn't do an autograph just because that caused way too much money. Um, the next person I met um, would be Tom Felton, which played Draco Malfoy um, on Harry Potter. I got him to sign a Funko Pop, which get the glare out, which is really, really cool. Um, there's a really funny story about this. We were standing in line for over an hour, and no one really had the Hot Topic exclusive when they all had the regular one. And so I'm like, well, I have an original one and might per, pers persuade a conversation, something cool. Literally five minutes before we go up there, a guy shows up in front of us. His friend had been hold holding the spot for an hour. Pulls out of his bag this exact one. Gets up there. He, uh, Tom, asked a bunch of questions about this. He hadn't seen it yet. I'm like, come on, dude, that was the conversation I was going to have. So that was kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Just to meet him, because I didn't get a picture just because it was an additional amount of money. Um, and I just didn't want to do that. The last person I met um, there was Ming Chen. He is on the show Comic Book Man on AMC, um, which takes place at Kevin Smith's um, comic book shop in New Jersey. Um, took a picture with him. I actually had like a three to four minute conversation with him. He's a really nice guy. Um, Got two things autographed. First, um, got this picture autographed. Um, and then also I got the um, Cryptozoic Men um, trade paperback signed. Um, because this was, they actually talked about this on the show. And so he went ahead and signed it right in here for me, which is really cool. Um, so those are kind of the people I met. I met someone else. or someone else on a book, but I'll get to that here in a second. Um, they had one vendor had a bunch of Marvel Essential and DC Showcase books on sale for like five bucks. Um, and so I picked up the Amazing Spider-Man Essentials. This one is um, has Peter Parker's grad college graduation. It's also in first appearances of Rocket Racer and Will O the Wisp. Um, so, it is volume number eight. All the Marvel ones, they didn't have any number ones for the Marvel ones, and so that was kind of disappointing, but I decided to pick this up, just because of the Peter Parker College graduation, it had two first appearances, plus it was $5, and regularly it's $19.99. And then second, I picked up a DC Showcase Presents Superman's Family. Plus the lowest lane solo story ever. Um, basically, this has Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane. Um, so it, it it starts with Jimmy Olsen number one. It's five bucks originally. It's seventeen dollars. So it's kind of cool. They also had um, Spider Woman there. Or no, Super Woman there, not Spider Woman. They had Spider Woman there, but they had Super. Girl there, well I meant to say Supergirl, and they had number one there, but I didn't choose to get it. One of the places I went to had um, a dollar, basically stacks and stacks of dollar comic books, and it was buy to get the third one free, and so I got six of them. First one I picked up was the Incredible Hulk. Um, Minus one. It is the death of Bruce Banner. Um, I really don't know what I have here. I'm going to have to look up some more information. Um, but it's featuring Stan Lee, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I thought that I thought that was kind of cool. And then I picked up a Robin story. 
Robin um, 105. So it's written by Chuck Dixon. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And then number five. So it's so I got a whole arc there, I got a whole story, and then I picked up a random um, Incredible Hulk comic book. And then I went to one place that had like probably 12 to 15 racks or boxes of um, trade paperbacks that were 50% off. Um, through all that, I found The Walking Dead Volume 1 Days Gone By for 50% off. Um, and then actually, Tony Moore was at the uh, Comic Con, and so I went ahead and got him to sign it for me. Um, so that's cool. I'm not gonna go crazy on The Walking Dead right now, but definitely cool to have the first book, something to get started, because my goal is to have all of them out one day. So yeah. And then, um, I also picked up, um,. Preacher Alamo, it is book 9 of 9, so I have volume 9, I have the last one. Um, yeah, I know, kind of working backwards. Um, but with the new Preacher show coming out on AMC tonight, and just the fact that I've heard lots of good things about the Preacher, I kind of wanted to try it out until my goal is to get the whole, the whole library and kind of read it. Um, so that's cool. So then there was a... Um, comic book store there from Ohio. He's the same guy that I bought stuff before at my other comic con I went to. Um, he has discount of, discount new, discount of new trade paperbacks and um, omnibuses and all sorts of stuff. So these are all new and they are discounted. Um, first and foremost I got Batman, Harley, and Ivy. The deluxe edition by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm. Um, it's taking from the um, animated series, the characters, and put them into a comic book. Um, so that is kind of cool. Like I said, you can see it's brand new because it's shrink wrapped. Um, picked up Preacher Book One. Um, so I do have Book One, and so I have bookends, and I have to fill in the middle of them. Um, but really excited, like I said, for this series on TV, um, and as well as reading it. I picked up The Death of Superman um, just for the simple fact that I um, wanted to read it since after watching Batman vs Superman and seeing how it matched up. Um, I'm planning on, like I said, getting that whole Death of Superman, The Return of Superman, um, The Doomsday stuff, all that stuff that goes with it. And then I started watching Jessica Jones last week on Netflix. I'm going to continue it this week. Hopefully finish it up this week. Um, and so I looked to find Jessica Jones book. I decided to pick up Jessica Jones The Pulse. Um, it collects um, Pulse 1 through 9, 11 through 14 and New Avengers Annual Number 1. It talks about Jessica Jones. Um, it's already a new chapter in her life. I don't know. It had Luke Cage on the back. It had Jessica Jones with different characters. I thought it would be pretty cool. So then just kind of learn more about Jessica Jones. So that's kind of everything I got at Comic Con on top of the signatures. It was a fun day. I really enjoyed going. It was my second Comic Con experience. Um, I had um, planning on going to one. Planning on going back to another one in October. And this one was definitely going to be in the rotation. Because they get really, really good guests. Um, Stephen Amell's come, the Arrow. That's come. He came last year. And so they get really good, top-notch guests. George Decay was there. They had a bunch of other people in this book. Um, Lou Ferrigno was there. Um, Jeremy Bullock, which, which plays Boba Fett, was there. Jason David Frank, he's done a lot of them. Um, Barbara Eden, the person that played I Dream of Genie, was there. Um, people from Doctor Who. There's some Walking Dead people. Um, Jason Muse was there, which I had met him in a previous one. Um, 
Danielle Panabaker from The Flash was there. They, like I said, the Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca. Lots of great guests. Lots of cool people were there. Great Comic Con. Um, today we were at Target doing some shopping in Kansas City, and so I picked up The Blues Brothers, which is a great movie. It's like ten. It was like for ten bucks, so I figured I'd pick it up. Um, so that that is everything from my weekend in Kansas City. Um, Stay tuned to this channel. I got lots more videos coming up this week. Finally got my free comic book haul. Um, free comic book day haul in. And then also, I got the next rendition of Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. I just picked that stuff up when I got back. Um, gonna be doing a rebirth video this week because that starts on Wednesday. Um, also going to maybe be doing a room tour. Um, cause I'm going to be readjusting a few things here, um, so that might be something I do, or just do a, a comic book collection video, a Lego video, something, I'm going to do something like that, um, and I'll be back Wednesday with my comic book haul, the last two weeks have been kind of short, that's why I haven't done them, so yeah, awesome, I'm done rambling, this video's already gone on way too long, Planet Comic Con, if you're in the Kansas, Missouri area, go check it out next year. But yeah, thank you so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.